is this mysterious concept of the hand of God what exactly is the hand of God I wrote here that the hand of God is a figurative expression watch this now that always describes the power of God when it is in motion not the power of God when it is inert because it is possible for the power of God to be in a place and yet the effect is not felt I think that should be Luke 5 17 the Bible says Jesus entered into the synagogue let's try that scripture Luke 5 17 Jesus entered into the synagogue and as he was teaching the Bible says that the power of the Lord was present but it never touched anyone it was present it was there are we together now so when we talk about the hand of God it is an expression that describes the power of God when in motion when God's power is made manifest in the midst of his people and across the earth we refer to it as the hand of God in Habakkuk chapter 3 when you read 3 and verse 4 are we together already Habakkuk 3 3 and 4 God came from Timon the Holy One from Mount Paran the Bible says his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise verse 2 says and his brightness was as the light and he had horns coming out of his hands and there in that hand was the hiding place of his power so when we talk about the hand of God we're talking about the power of God that is made manifest in the earth is made manifest in a life made manifest in a destiny now the hand of God also describes the engracing that comes upon a believer for extraordinary exploits you have to understand this so there are two dimensions to the hand of God there is the hand of God as his power made manifest but there is a hand of God as a supernatural engracing that comes upon the believer and when it rests upon you in that similitude your life will be always extraordinary always supernatural is that someone's testimony in the name of Jesus so the hand of God is God's power at work and the hand of God also refers to the anointing upon are we together now the anointing upon is what they call the hand of God the engracing of God upon the believer in the New Testament two scriptures Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 14 I always like people to have understanding of scripture because it is from the standpoint of intelligence that you are able to command victory in prayer and then in your destiny pursuit he says so the spirit lifted me up and took me away and I went in bitterness and in the heat of my spirit but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me the hand of the Lord insisted upon me the ability to be taken in the spirit was because the hand of the Lord there was an engracing that came upon him Ezekiel 37 verse 1 popular scripture 37 and verse 1 Ezekiel please give it to us so the, the hand of the Lord was upon me again you now see same Ezekiel same experience and he carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones so every time the Bible talks about the hand of God let me repeat again for your understanding number one it refers to the power of God made manifest when the power of God is at work when the power of God is in motion it's called the hand of God and then number two the power of God also refers it describes the engracing that comes upon the believer for extraordinary exploits there is nowhere in scripture where you see the manifestation of the hand of God without performance every time you see the hand of God there is no silence there will always be a manifestation are we together this is very important let's talk a bit about the hand of God what does the Bible say about the hand of God can we consider a few scriptures number one 
the bible lets us know that creation and sustenance is by the hand of god be ready to consider a few scripture number one creation and sustenance is by the hand of god isaiah 48 13 creation and sustenance we're examining from scripture the implication what does the bible have to say about the hand of god here's what the bible says my hand had also laid the foundations of the earth and my right hand had spanned the heavens when i call them they stand together this is god for you the hand of god is responsible for creation creation not just of the earth of your destiny of your life of the things that should be and are not yet are as i begin to show you this scripture your faith must be positioned because whatever the hand of god did before it must do today in someone's life in the name of jesus christ can we consider another scripture psalms 95 verse 4 and 5 psalm 95 verse 4 and 5 let's read together ready one to read in his hands are the deep places of the earth the strength of the hills are his also next verse please the sea is his and he made it and his hands from the dry land the hand of god let's consider one last scripture job 12 verse 10 what does the bible say about the hand of god the Bible says that creation and sustenance is by his hand. In whose hand is the soul of every living thing? And all the breath of all mankind, including your enemies. So anybody who makes a boast should realize that his hand in the midst of that pride is in the hand of God. His entire life and that God can do whatever. Listen to what he said in whose hand is the soul of every living thing and the breath ah what betides a man who god closes his hands against do you believe scripture the faith of the believer is only built on truth that comes from scripture there is no other information outside of scripture that can build the believer's faith in whose hand is the soul of every living thing so when someone says except i don't wake up you will not enjoy tell him ah what a statement the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said the reason i waked was because the lord sustained me not because it was morning because there are people who sleep in the night and don't wake up in the morning it is only god that wakes men including those who plan to do evil is god that wakes them to have the idea to even continue this is how powerful god is are we together number two what does the bible say about the hand of god faith is rising in someone faith is rising in someone in the name of jesus christ faith is rising in someone god protects by his hand this is the second thing the bible says about the hand of god john 10 29 i like this god protects oh he protects by his hand john 10 29 my father which gave them me is greater than how many whether they like you or not my father who gave them me is greater than all he says and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand they may remove you from the office but not from the father's hand are we together have you seen a farmer hold a seed he takes that seed anywhere he wants no one is able to pluck joshua selman out of my father's hand you think i'll call your name no sir it's too early to call your name in the name of jesus no man is able to pluck joshua selman out no man not by wizardry not by evil uh -uh. jealously protected by the hand of god no man so when the hand of god comes to you protection has come isaiah 41 10 isaiah 41 10 
don't be tired of scripture so this is where your strength lies this is where intelligence in the spirit lies fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed joshua selman for i am your god i will strengthen thee how i will help thee i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness i will uphold you i will uphold you that's what god is doing for someone i will uphold you so the bible teaches us that god protects by his hand number three are we learning god executes judgment by the power of his hand mm. the meting out of judgment over the enemy over the wicked is by the hand of god isaiah 19 16 isaiah 19 16 in that day shall egypt be like unto women and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the lord of hosts which he shaketh over it do you know what this means that god decides to wave his hand over egypt and the bible says that effect will make people tremble like a woman who has lost her sense of security god executes judgment zephaniah 1 4 zephaniah 1 4 some of you don't read that part of the bible zephaniah 1 4 look for it are you ready and i will stretch out my hand upon judah and upon all the inhabitants of jerusalem i will cut off the remnant of baal from this place and the name of the chemarims and the priests i will cut them away all by my hand i will stretch out my hand in the course of prayer we are going to pray there are people who will receive the visitation the judgment dimension of god's hand that everything that has vowed that we will not let you go if he survived january till november at this oasis conference and in the name of jesus christ the lord of sabeo the one whose name we have called he will stretch his hand so mighty and bring judgment upon the wicked in the name of jesus amos chapter 9 and verse 2 my security is based on the word my confidence my understanding is derived from the word are we together let's read this as loud as you can please ready one to read though they dig into hell thence my hand shall take them though they climb up to heaven i will bring them down my hand is that long if you hide in hades i will reach down and bring you if you are up there in pride i will bring you down a man who has a, a god who has a hand that long you should respect him where can i hide from your presence that means wherever you are he, god can pick you from lagos he can pick you from a village somewhere and relocate you properly is someone hearing so do not be surprised that you are spending november in nigeria and march will be somewhere else when they ask you how you got there if you say you entered an aircraft it may be a wrong answer the hand of god long enough to pick you long enough to pick you listen do not be surprised that tonight you are here in lagos and by tomorrow you are in the midst of people you ask yourself how did i get here if they ask you say the hand of god how did you get to a business meeting without being qualified there you tell them my god he picked me and dropped me there ah, someone pray say father shout it loud say father may your hand relocate me to the place of destiny open your mouth and pray in one minute ah pray 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 may your hand pick me if i jump i will not reach there if i roll i may not reach there may your hand pick me 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 someone pray may your hand pick my certificate may your hand pick me to the right place to the right people
Go ahead, you are praying. Sake perekatos kata Hallelujah.